Hi, I'm Andy, a collection specialist at Credit Sage, and my goal is to help people learn how they can remove revenue group from their credit report. And this is in many cases without paying the debt at all. So if that's you or someone you know, I'm confident that you'll walk away from this video knowing what the next best step is to take. Now, uh, this in no me way means that you shouldn't take action. You know, for example, if you know or you believe that um, Revenue Group or actually any of the accounts on your credit report are the result of identity theft or have a wrong balance, for example, after you know you've already paid, um, you know, or any major issues that are really affecting your life, you may be owed uh, a settlement. And we work with a network of local attorneys that'll work on your behalf at zero cost, win or lose, in addition to getting the accounts deleted permanently. But if there are no issues like that that exist and you just want the account removed from your uh, credit report, we can help with that too. Just give us a call. Our number is in the description area. And uh, um, with that, what I wanna do is I wanna go through some of the most important questions that we get about this company. And I think this first one here is really important. And that is, can you be arrested or get jail time for a debt with revenue group. Now, I put this one at the top of the list because we honestly get a lot of callers that are terrified that this could happen. And, and it makes sense. You know, few people are really taught how credit and debt work in school. Uh, I didn't know the answer to this question until I got into the business. And unfortunately, uh, unless the debt is related to specifically unpaid taxes, or unpaid child support, you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So there's no need to worry about that whatsoever. Uh, the amount of the debt doesn't matter either. You could refuse to pay $1,000 or a million dollars. You will not be arrested or get jail time, okay? So, so now who is Revenue Group and why are they on your credit report? So they are uh, what's referred to as a debt collector or a credit collection agency. What they do is they buy uh, debts, unpaid accounts, like credit cards, for example, often for very cheap, and then they try to collect the full amount, okay? Uh, an example would be, let's imagine that uh, for a moment, you know, whatever reason, you have an unpaid card with Capital One, um, and let's say that it's $1,000. Revenue Group could, in theory, come along and buy that debt for just maybe $100, but now they don't try to collect that amount. They try to collect the full $1,000 from you, which gives them a 10x return on their investment. So yeah, I mean, these companies can make a lot of money and damaging your credit score by reporting the debt to your credit report is the primary strategy they have to get you to pay. Um, however, what a lot of people don't know is that paying a debt on your credit report does not remove the account attached to it that account will sit there for seven years, damaging your score, paid or not. So, um, so the reality is a lot of times paying the debt uh, isn't in your best interest and could just be a waste of money. Now, rare cases, paying it could even hurt your score further. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but in, in addition to credit reporting, uh, they may send scary letters, they may call a lot, they may even uh, call your family members and colleagues. Um, and, and I want to mention that if a collector has ever threatened you or harassed you during non-business hours, you, again, may be owed a lawsuit. So that's another case you want to give us a call so we can connect you with a local specialist that will take action quickly. Uh, should you negotiate a settlement with Revenue Group? So settling your debt with Revenue Group depends on your goal. Typically, if you're wanting to improve your credit score, paying isn't the best option. Um, now, why is that? Because, you know, as I mentioned before, even if you pay the collection, it will remain on your credit report for seven years, damaging your score that whole time. Now, instead, we always recommend that you work with an expert like us to review these accounts for you. And uh, if certain issues exist, the accounts may be removed. And this is a win-win, right? You won't have to waste money paying a debt that won't help your score and the negative account gets removed from your report. So it's perfect. Um, so how do you remove uh, revenue group from your credit report? So it works like this. Uh, 
The Fair Credit Reporting Act gives every person the power to challenge information on their report. Uh, I will say that the knowledge required to do this is a bit more involved than it might seem. Uh, that's not to say that you shouldn't learn how to do it, but be prepared to spend weeks, maybe even months, learning how to do it properly. However, if you hire a professional to handle it for you, you can ensure that it's done properly the first time, and you could save the extra time uh, in learning how to do it. And, and we're happy to take care of it. We've dealt with revenue group accounts many times already, and uh, they, uh, they regularly have issues. I'll just say that. And we've helped numerous clients deal with them, and we'll take care of it for you as well if you prefer. Um, how can you get Revenue Group to stop calling you? Uh, yeah, so this is tough. You know, as I mentioned before, Revenue Group calling is, is their attempt to collect the debt they've purchased, which means the only reason that they'll stop calling you is if you settle your debt with them or you work with a company like ours to potentially have them removed from your report altogether. Okay. Um, Will Revenue Group try suing or garnishing my wages? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll put it this way. Revenue Group suing is unlikely. It can and does happen, I'll be honest. But really, in our experience, it's pretty rare. Uh, there's just a lot of laws around how long they can sue for, what they can do if they win. It's a long process, right? Uh, however, if we're able to find certain issues with the account, they won't be able to collect it all, which is another benefit of using an expert. Um, what are my rights when dealing with Revenue Group? So you have the right to dispute any of your debt that Revenue Group has purchased. Revenue Group is governed by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, or FDCPA. And as I mentioned before, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FCRA. Now, these acts can seem very complicated. Uh, I get it. But, but really, they provide a great deal of power to the consumer if you know how to use them properly. But if you don't have time to research these acts or you don't want to, uh, that's not a problem. That's, that's what we're here for. And you can give us a call today, um, and we'll discuss, our, discuss your options um, and, and kind of figure out together what, what to do. Uh, again, you'll find our number in the description area below. And yeah, with that, that's, uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much.